Hello everybody and welcome back to the ROR SRPS Season 2 Qualifier. My name is Preston Vieira and we got two more insane racing brackets to get through tonight and we'll find ourselves two all new Season 2 Qualifiers. Remember, you can join in the tour placement voting process for this week's qualifiers by heading over to the ROR SRPS Instagram this Saturday. That's at ROR SRPS. Drop a follow and keep an eye on my story this weekend because every vote counts. As usual, please consider subscribing if you enjoy tonight's event and want to keep up with the qualifiers or catch the soon-to-come Season 2 featuring three tours of chaos and an all-new larger total of 48 main field trucks. But here on YouTube, you're only getting half the ROR SRPS experience. Don't forget to head over to Instagram this weekend and join in the fun. Your tour placement votes will dictate our champions for Season 2. And an all-new benefit of being an ROR SRPS fan is you can now go over to W.GG and use promo code ROR SRPS to get 10% off your purchase. Anyone can use it as many times as you want. This is not a for your first purchase or anything like that. This is 10% off any purchase not only are W energy powders a clean source of energy or hydration if you don't need energy they also use zero sugar artificial colors and they're gluten free times are tough and if you're like me spending three bucks for a single drink can can rack up fast with W's powder base you mix your drinks at home and they end up costing about a dollar or less per drink join the W movement get hydrated get energized support the ROR SRPS channel and take 10% off Dubby's wide range of flavors using code ROR-SRPS. Now let's finish finding our picks for our first event. We'll be spinning both wheels tonight. Uh, we are already on the full selection wheel. Gravedigger coming back once again, that 22 chassis this time around. Barely tame. I believe that is a leafer, so we'll get our first leafer taken on the uh, Spin Master Showdown track. We'll see how that works out. Hot Tamale is our last pick from the... Uh, the full selection wheel here tonight. No requests. This is all uh, random selection in this first bracket of the night. Let's take a look at our round one bracket here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is going to be taken on Bustin' Loose to get us started. Boogie Van will face off against McGruff the Crime Dog. Gravedigger is going to take on Riptide. Dragon Werewolf Node Beam, that breakable truck, is going to be taken on the other breakable here tonight. Bad news travels fast. The Leafer Barely Tame is going to take on Hot Tamale. Dragon number two is going to take on Pure Adrenaline, while Titan faces off against Extreme Insanity, and Monster Patrol is back once again, taking on Suburban Daredevil. But we're getting started here in round one already. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming back with that Gravedigger 19 chassis on your right, taking on Bustin' Loose to get us started. First time we're seeing this Bustin' Loose on the track. And we're up and over the first step up of the night already. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles airing it out. It would be nice to have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the second season. We'll see how he does here tonight with his first race being up against a tough truck to beat here. It's nice and clean around that first turn. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles already struggling. Of course, Bustin' Loose doesn't quite compete in the same compa capacity anymore. The uh, old classic Monster Jam truck Bustin' Loose here. Uh, a retro custom uh, updated chassis and uh, old school paint job busting loose looking good but it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles who's making a comeback as we head down the hill here up onto the bridge Turtles with the lead as we head over the cars busting loose not doing too bad he's not too far behind as I mentioned in that last episode or in our last episode he was a, uh, he's kind of in that sweet spot right now. He does get a little loose in the tunnel, which slows him down even more. Turtles just expanding that gap here on the bottom floor. He's going to be the first one to take on the gap. He's going to go long to low. So is Bustin' Loose. Nice little butt kicker kind of from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, keeping it safe off the nose. And he is going to be heading into the final turn first. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Is moving on to round two. If he can just get around this turn nice and clean, he does. It's all Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles headed to the finish line. Nicely done. A solid first race to get us started. No real big mistakes. I mean, Bustin' Loose got a little loose in the turn, and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kind of lost it in the first turn. But, I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes it happens. Look at the stoppy from Bustin' Loose. Showing out for the fans. Maybe he can come back sometime soon and uh, potentially get a spot in Season 2. 
We're not looking good for him right now as he is out for the night. But Boogie Van is coming out next on your right. They'll be taking on McGruff the Crime Dog. We just saw McGruff the Crime Dog last episode. And uh, he's doing pretty well. Got up pretty pretty deep in the bracket. I don't remember if it was uh, the final round of the semifinals. But either way, that is a, a feat on this track. It is a tough one. Too many trucks go down early. McGruff is actually a past victim of going down early. Uh, but he managed to hold it together for a long time last night. And he's in the lead now against Boogie Van. Heading into the slalom. It is all McGruff the Crime Dog right now. But will that shorter wheelbase on Boogie Van help him out here through the slalom? Managing to make up a little bit of time. It does help him just a bit. Boogie Van catching up to McGruff the Crime Dog. But McGruff is just too quick around that turn on starting elevation. He's already down into that ski hill. Boogie Van trying to catch up still. Boogie Van a little slow through the bridge section. McGruff the Crime Dog airing it out in a hard hit on the cab. McGruff the Crime Dog goes down. Boogie Van free and clear to grab a win here in round one. Can he hold it out till the finish line? McGruff the Crime Dog, once again a victim to this track, this time in an all new way we've never seen him go down before by smacking that, <laughs> smacking his face right into the roof of the tunnel. He is done here in round one. Boogie Van already coming around this final turn. He's gonna do it and move on to round two tonight. Bit squirrely coming out of that final turn, but it doesn't matter, just a practice lap at this point. Up and over the finish line, and Boogie Van is on to the next one. Nice little slap wheelie, too, for celebration. We'll see Boogie Van in a little bit. He's going to head back up to the pits and get prepped for round two. Who's next? Grave Digger coming out on your right. We got that grandma body on that thing once again, bringing it back here in uh, season, uh, the season two qualifier. Riptide next on your right, or on your left, excuse me. And uh, we're going green already up and over the step up. And it is neck and neck so far. Riptide may have a slight lead, but it goes away as Gravedigger catches up to the Jackrabbit. Gravedigger a slight lead over the gap, nose dives there, gets an awkward bounce. He's gonna have to recover and uh, do a good job of it if he wants to knock out Riptide as a past finalist here on the season two qualifier. Great looking truck on your left. We'll see if he can do it once again as Gravedigger struggling to keep that truck on all four. A bit slow through the slalom just thanks to him getting hiked up on those side two tires over and over. But Gravedigger making a solid effort to get back up towards the lead. Riptide just too far ahead for anything to be done at the moment. We do have just about half a race to go left. We'll see if Gravedigger can make up some time here. But heading down into the tunnel, beautiful transfer from Riptide. Gravedigger trying to get it done too. Not too bad, keeping it off the sidewalls, pretty controlled through the tunnel. Still Riptide holding that lead. He's going to air it out over the gap on the bottom floor. Kind of a hard hit on the front end. Gravedigger going to go long to low. That kind of seals his fate here as Riptide is already coming through the final chicane and headed to the final turn. Can he get a nice, clean, solid final turn? He does. Beautifully done around that final turn. Up and over the triple and headed to the finish line. Riptide moves on to round two tonight. Well on his way here to uh, get back up into the finals and prove that he is a competitor. And he can uh, compete in season two. Looking to get that qualification tonight as well as every other competitor we're about to see. But uh, Riptide has a pretty good shot. As I mentioned, a past finalist. Can he do it again? We got that werewolf node beam dragon coming out on your right. Of course, that is the dragon ice version taking on bad news travels fast. Now, we just saw him recently was unable to keep that truck uh, in the lead. We'll see how he does here against a werewolf, uh, another werewolf truck, and uh, if he can actually hold the lead and grab a win here in round one. Dragon, nice and clean over the Jackrabbit, busting loose, not as clean. Dragon's going to have to come up short, 
Bustin' loose trying to clear the gap on the first floor. Gets it done pretty well. Nicely done. A bit of a rough exit to the turn. Dragons a bit smoother through that turn, through our first turn here on the first floor, but he's too far behind at the moment. We'll see if he can make up some ground here in the slalom. We know these breakable trucks do well in the slalom, but when it's breakable against breakable, kind of zeroes out. So we're back to square one with Dragon Ice here. Around the turn on starting elevation. Dragon getting into trouble out wide, clipping that jammer stack. He is struggling here on this uh, starting elevation, trying to make up some time on the bridge. Bad news with a little bit of a slip, losing some time here. Looking for a transfer, bad news gonna come up short. Dragon's trying to get a perfect transfer, gets it done pretty well. Both trucks keeping it off the wall in the tunnel, but it is Dragon who comes out in the lead. No, bad news comes back. It's about neck and neck here as we head over the gap. Through the elevated turn, it is close, but it's Dragon who comes out cleaner. Bad news, kind of cuts the corner a little bit, and he makes it back neck and neck with Dragon. They are, I mean, it's, it's going to be hard to determine who is going to take it as of right now. We'll see who gets it across the finish line. It's Bad News travels fast in the lead, and on to round two. Bad News travels fast, just manages to hold off Dragon Ice. What a race between the two of them trading that lead back and forth. And uh, it's bad news travels fast in the end, nicely done. Now here comes that leafer on your right, barely tame, taking on Hot Tamale on your left. And uh, that Hot Tamale truck looks great, that Dodge body on it. We'll see how he does against the classic Ford here as we head up and over the step up midway through round one. Nice lead over the Jackrabbit for Hot Tamale. We'll see if Barely Tame can make it across the gap here. He tries, stuffs the front end, and goes down backwards. That hurts big time, especially with that old equipment. He is done upside down in the first gap. Hot Tamale free and clear to head into round two. Can he get across the finish line? Just a practice lap at this point. We'll see where his trouble areas are and if he can improve in round two. Uh, a little wide there through this turn on starting elevation. Going to have to get that nice and tight, especially taking on uh, any potential competitors, really. they A lot of trucks go hard up on starting elevation. It's just one turn, but it, it, it can make him break, make or break, depending on uh, how you take it. Atamali a little rickety through the uh, entry into the tunnel there, but gets through it nice and clean, nice and fast. Hot Tamale doing good on the bottom floor. Is he going to go for the gap? No, he's going to come up short. Solid move. We talked about it many times before on this channel through this qualifying window. If you have a practice pass, it might just be better to uh, long the low there so you don't you know, nose pick it and end up upside down like Barely Tame did on the first gap here in this race. Coming around that final turn, Hot Tamale beautifully done, a great turn up and over the triple and headed to the finish line. Hot Tamale finishes his practice pass here and he is heading into round two. Hopefully he can take those uh, bottom floor skills and bring those around for round two. We got another werewolf node beam truck here, pure adrenaline back once again, unable to have completed a single pass as of yet. We'll see if he can do that this time around. He's taking on the V4 version of Dragon with that normal Dragon paint job. We're off that starting line and headed over the step up. Dragon absolutely airing it out. Pure Adrenaline taking kind of a rollover approach. Same for the Jackrabbit, but it's Dragon who's just expanding that lead here in the first straightaway. Beautiful turn from Dragon as well. Pure Adrenaline, no slouch through the turn. A werewolf truck using that grip to uh, propel himself right through that turn and making up some good ground on Dragon. Of course, not taking the lead, but uh, making up some ground. And that's all that you need to do. Just continue improving on yourself here. Great downside or landing. Maybe it wasn't a downside, but a great landing from Pure Adrenaline through the double roller there. Heading down that ski hill. It is Dragon in the lead still. Just expanding that gap. 
Can Dragon make it a clean transfer into the tunnel? He does. Nicely done. Nice and controlled. Pure Adrenaline clips the hood. No damage to the chassis, but does rip two wheels off, essentially. Snaps the knuckle in the rear and just completely cleans that tire off in the front. Pure Adrenaline down once again, yet to get across that finish line. We'll see if he can come back at some point and actually, you know, complete round one, whether he takes a win or not. But uh, he's struggling on this track, and it's a tough one. I don't blame him at all, but he is unable to do it once again. Dragging over the triple and to the finish line. He's moving on to round two tonight. Nicely done. Big leap across that finish line. And uh, that's, that's one thing I love about that finish line. It's a nice, clear, long straightaway to a, to a massive jump. I mean, you can really air your truck out after that leap. But it is Titan coming out next on your right, taking on Extreme Insanity for our semifinal race of round one. Who is going to come out on top? Probably Titan. <laughs> Extreme Insanity, of course, that NAMP truck we've seen here many times before. Nothing wrong with the truck. That thing looks great. But it's a NAMP truck, so it's slower. It uh, turns the handling and the turns are a bit weird. A slap wheelie down that first straight is not going to help. He's going to have to come up short on the uh, gap here, which he does. Uh, he just doesn't have the speed to clear the gap that these other V4 trucks are going to be able to do. Titan, a nice lead on Extreme Insanity. We'll see if Titan can actually complete a lap. We've seen a couple leaders uh, struggle to complete the lap overall in this uh, qualifying window. So we'll see if he can actually do it here tonight. Pure Insanity, getting, or Extreme Insanity, excuse me, a nice leap up onto starting elevation. And Titan, just essentially a practice lap at this point. I mean, he's just he's going for it. He's giving it his all. But uh, it's, I don't think uh, Extreme Insanity is really any competition for Titan tonight. Looking for a nice, clean landing. Beautifully done. Keeping it off the wall, but he had to slow that truck down and get it controlled there in order to do so. So that does slow him down a little bit, but not enough for it to matter to Extreme Insanity. Titan going to come up short in the gap on the bottom floor as well. Just keeping that truck safe, making sure he can come back for a second round. Doesn't have too much work to do on the truck in between rounds. And heading into this final turn, Titan too much of a lead on Extreme Insanity tonight. Titan will be moving on to round two tonight. Beautifully done. A great pass from Titan. Minimal mistakes. Just nice and clean all the way through. And over the finish line goes Titan. Nice little combo from Pure. Uh, pure. I keep saying Pure. I'm thinking Pure Adrenaline. Nice little combo from Extreme Insanity. Beautiful slap wheelie as well. But that does not bring him back from elimination he is done here in round one tonight but we are on to the next one already monster patrol coming out next on your right that classic 94 version of monster patrol taking on suburban daredevil we got a newer chassis taking on the old school like wilman chassis so we'll see how it goes here as we're off that starting line already monster patrol is a, a another werewolf truck we'll see if he can keep it in one piece already going kind of crazy coming down onto the first floor suburban daredevil a nice lead on monster patrol but monster patrol gets a great landing on that first gap here on the first floor through the first turn we'll see how monster patrol does in the slalom he is a werewolf truck after all does kind of cut that pit of disqualification needs to watch out don't want to break a wheel pop a tire or end up in the pit but suburban daredevil nice and clean through the double roller not too bad from Monster Patrol, nearly falling off of the, of the ledge there, getting up onto starting elevation, but uh, keeps, it, keeps it on all fours, keeps it running. Gets it up onto starting elevation, nicely done, and onto the bridge for both of these trucks, but it is Suburban Daredevil already down onto the first floor and looking for a transfer. Comes up just a little short, bit of an awkward landing there. Monster Patrol off a little sideways. Needs to get it under control if he wants to come back. Suburban Daredevil already heading to the gap here on the bottom floor. I don't know if it's going to happen for Monster Patrol, especially since he's going to have to come up short. Yeah, through the elevated turn, it is all Suburban Daredevil here in round one to close it out. 
around that final turn. Nice and tight. Beautiful drift. He is done. Headed into the second round. Suburban Daredevil gets across that finish line. Monster Patrol just unable to get it done tonight. Kind of fighting with the truck a little bit on the first floor. And uh, uh, kind of through the tunnel a little bit. A decent transfer, but just trying to get that truck turned and keep it safe. It's, uh, it's a tough one. Look at the lean. He's tweaked a little bit. Uh, the, the, the stoppy from Suburban Daredevil. Nice and clean. We'll see him again in round two in just a minute. Let's take a look at this round two bracket here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is going to be taking on Boogie Van. Riptide will face off against the Werewolf No Beam Truck. Bad news. Travels fast. Hot Tamale is going to take on Dragon. And Titan will face off against Suburban Daredevil. Titan versus Suburban Daredevil could be an interesting one. I mean, we've seen Suburban Daredevil kind of blow some of these races. Uh, we'll see how he does here tonight, especially against Titan. Owen Titan is such a, a heavy hitter and just a solid truck all around. Uh, we'll see We'll see how that race goes. We'll see how all of them go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles taking on Boogie Van here to get us started in round two. Both of them airing it out over that step up. Up and over the Jackrabbit. Beautiful landing from both trucks. Boogie Van getting a little bit of a wheelie. Unable to get it straightened out. He's going to have to get that truck stopped before the dumpster there. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle taking an early lead. Can he hold it all race? It is a long race. A lot of opportunities for mistakes and a lot of opportunities for Boogie Van to uh, move himself back up and into the competition here. Up and over the double roller. Comes up just shy of a downside on that second roller. Boogie Van as well. But neither one of them really struggling. Just unable to get that nice clean landing and, uh, you know, launch up onto that starting elevation. Boogie Van getting in trouble on the bridge. Not very clean. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles looking for a transfer. Almost gets into trouble with the wall. Gets into trouble with the opposite wall. That hurts. Boogie Van trying to make up the ground, but a little bit of a slap wheelie slows him down. He has a chance here. He might be in that sweet spot where if Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles makes another mistake, Boogie Van will be able to come back. A great launch across that gap on the bottom floor for Boogie Van. He's in the fight right now. Can Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle get a nice clean final turn? And he does. Nicely done around it, headed up and over the triple and to the finish line, just ahead of Boogie Van, too far ahead for Boogie Van to make any moves. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle moves on and is our first truck into the semifinals tonight. We'll see him again in just a little bit. See if he can make it up into the finals. That'd be exciting. I would love to see uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in season two. But we're moving on with the night here. Riptide coming out next on your right. Taking on that werewolf. Bad news. Travels fast. We'll see who can come out on top here. If the werewolf can knock out the V4 and the past finalist. Nicely done. Neither one of them getting super clean landings there on that jackrabbit. Both trucks getting solid landings on the gap here on the first floor though. Can bad news make up some ground in the slalom? Beautifully, beautiful entry into the slalom. Kind of gets kicked sideways there. That hurts him just a little bit, but he's not too far behind Riptide. He can make a move at some point if there is a slip from Riptide. We'll see what happens here. As bad news kind of gets a better, better downside, you know, respectively compared to uh, Riptide. Heading into the ski hill, though, it is not too far uh, as far as uh, competition goes. Bad news is actually putting up a fight here in round two not going down easy at all but he is behind riptide right now beautiful transfer from riptide beautiful transfer from bad news but he nearly goes into the wall he is struggling to get that truck into the into the contention for the lead hard hit on the front end gets it up onto that elevated turn riding out the wheelie too long I think he knows he's done, so he's just, you know, giving the fans a little bit of a show here. Coming through the chicane, not enough in the tank for bad news tonight. Riptide 
around that final turn and headed into the semifinals once again. Can he make it as a finalist? Look at bad news. Nice save, able to keep it and or get it back down on all fours. Unable to keep it on all fours. Airing it out over the triple and headed to the finish line now. Bad news, travels fast, is done here in round two. At least he didn't get eliminated in round one like last time. So good for him. You know, improving, getting getting further into the bracket this time around. Hot Tamale coming out next on your right, taking on Dragon. This is going to be an interesting race. Independent versus Monster Jam, failed truck. We'll see who comes out on top here as we're heading into the step up. Hot Tamale, a little bouncy. He's really airing it out over the Jackrabbit, which is going to slow him down. Can he get a clean landing? No, he's gonna come up short in the first gap here. Can Dragon fight him off and keep this lead on Hatamali all race? Hatamali really chucking it in to that slalom, which doesn't necessarily help. I mean, you need as much traction as you can get through the slalom and uh, sliding around is not the way to hold traction, I'll tell you that much. Dragon coming around that dumpster first. Headed down the ski hill. Atamali seems to be making up a little bit of ground, or at least holding his ground here. Not really losing much time to Dragon, but he is uh, he is behind. Just staying behind Dragon right now. Can Dragon get to that finish line first? Atamali airing it out. Beautiful transfer. A bit slippery through the tunnel here, but solid transfer. But I think he is too far behind. We'll see how Dragon handles this gap. He's going to go long to low. Can Tamale clear it? He's going for it. Comes up short. Big bounce. Great save. But that's not going to save his pass here. He is done. Dragon looks like he's headed into round three. Our semifinals. Can he get around that final turn? He does. Up and over the triple and headed to the finish line. Hot Tamale is out. Here in round two, debuting truck. We have not seen Hatamali on the channel until tonight. And uh, he just unable to get past round two. But at least he made it past round one. I mean, we, we've had trucks come here and have multiple, multiple attempts and still are unable to get out of round one. Suburban Daredevil, one of those trucks that have had multiple attempts, but he's been out of round one a couple times. We'll see if he can make it up into the finals tonight by beating Titan here in round two. Up and over the step up. It is neck and neck. Suburban Daredevil, a very slight lead. Both of them getting beautiful landings on the Jackrabbit. Titan is all over the place. Suburban Daredevil, not the cleanest landing, but still a slight lead on Titan. Neither one of them super clean through this first uh, straightaway. Ooh, a rough entry into the slalom for Titan as well. Suburban Daredevil might have this. Suburban Daredevil is going to be the first one up onto starting elevation. Beautiful downside. Same for Titan. Both of them killing it through the double roller there as we head around that dumpster and onto the bridge. Titan struggling. I would have thought that Titan was going to give Suburban Daredevil more of a run for his money. We're still on the first floor. We'll see how they do on the bottom floor. And through the tunnel, Suburban Daredevil in trouble. A bounce off of the chassis. They might put him out here. I don't know. They might let him refire, but it could be all Titan. That bounce off the cab hurt Suburban Daredevil for sure. I don't know if they're going to let him. They do let him refire. But it is too late for him to do anything. Suburban Daredevil is done. Titan heading into the final turn already as Suburban Daredevil just now making his way to the gap. Oh, another rough hit on the front end. Manages to save it and keep it off the roof. But, I mean, this truck is taking a beating here in round two. And it is Titan heading into the semifinals to close out round two. Suburban Daredevil is done tonight. Oh man, one of the roughest passes we've seen. I mean, it was it was started out great in the in the first first floor, but in the tunnel and on the bottom floor, he's just struggling out here, man. 
Nicely done, getting across the finish line. Give it up for him one more time. Suburban Daredevil heading back out and onto starting elevation to get thrown in the holler for tonight. TMNT is coming out next, taking on Riptide to kick off the semifinals. And Dragon will take on Titan. Now here's the thing. Riptide has experience in the final round. He was unable to grab a qualifying spot in Season 2, but he has experience in the final round. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, at least the Gravedigger 19 version, has not been in the final round. So we'll see how he does and if he can make it past the, the truck with more experience here on this track. We're going green to kick off the semifinals. Over the step up, beautifully done. Both trucks launching it, and it is Riptide with a very slight lead. He takes kind of a rollover approach to the Jackrabbit, allowing tur Turtles to g grab a lead. I am just in awe of this race already. I'm st stumbling over my words big time here. And it is Turtles who is uh, making a solid comeback. I mean, it's neck and neck right now. I did not expect it to go this way with Riptide being such a solid truck in the racing category. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles getting it done here on the first floor. Around the dumpster on starting elevation. Turtles wastes a bit too much time. Riptide reclaims the lead onto the bridge. Can he hold it for the rest of the race or will Turtles be the one to come back? Who's gonna get a better transfer is the more important question. Nicely done. I would say Turtles got a better transfer. Riptide entered first, but Turtles comes out of the tunnel first. Beautiful transfer. A nice pass through the tunnel as well. Who's going to get a better gap here? Both of them going long to low, just trying to keep that truck safe and get across the finish line, potentially try and make up some ground on the other. And it is just neck and neck coming around that chicane and into the final turn. Who is going to get it? Turtles in a slight lead. Oh man, Turtles. Turtles does it over the triple and headed to the finish line. He is too far ahead for Riptide to make up the ground. Riptide is done. Here in the semifinals, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is on to the finals tonight. Wow. What a race. I mean, it was close the entire time. Neither one of them making big enough of a mistake to really fall too far behind. It was a tight race, especially as we got down to the bottom floor. But look at this dragon coming out next, taking on Titan, and we're going green. Over the step up, dragon using that rollover approach to guide those rear wheels straight and down, that, uh, down onto the first floor. Titan had a slight lead, but dragon comes back thanks to a bobble off of the jackrabbit from Titan. Neither one of them super clean here on the first floor. Through the slalom, it is a tight race so far. Dragon a slight lead into the double roller. Nicely done. I mean, I can see this going either way. I'm, I'm just a fan at this point. I just want to watch Dragon up onto the bridge first and through the cars, Titan trying to make his way back. Can he do it in the tunnel? Dragon a solid landing, Titan as well. Neither one of them super clean transfers. They get it done, they're controlled through the tunnel, but not the cleanest transfer. They've had quite a few perfect ones at this point. Dragon almost a perfect landing on that elevated turn, but kind of gets bobbled, going over, saves it. But Titan coming back. Dragon manages to hold the lead somehow as Titan fights. To get into that final turn, it's not going to happen for him unless there's a big slip, but no, no slip from Dragon. Dragon is the first one over that triple and to the finish line. Dragon moves on to the finals tonight. It is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Dragon in your final round. Unfortunate break for Titan. I would have loved to see him in a Season 2 get qualified into Season 2. He has time to get qualified. We'll see if he does. But let's take a look at your final round bracket here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles taking on Dragon. 
You can get a great look at how they got here and a, a little recap of the night if you just take a look at this full bracket. And uh, it was insane, and this race is going to be insane. Turtles coming out on your right, facing off against Dragon for the win. For the win, for the qualifying spot. It's going to be a great race. We're going green for your final round in the first bracket. Both trucks airing it out over the step up. Dragon a slight lead early on. Turtles gets a beautiful landing and reclaims the lead. Can he hold it? Got a long race to go. Dragon seems to be struggling on this first floor. Turtles nice and clean chucks it in to that slalom. And using the grip as well as much grip as he can. He is sliding and drifting a little bit. But uh, using as much grip as possible. Dragon trying to make a comeback. He does make up some ground. But it's Turtle with a cleaner uh, downside in the double roller. Out wider though through that, eleva that starting elevation turn. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Turtles hits the center divide. Oh, no. Turtles might be done. Was unable to get the truck turned around the way he needed to in, in a short amount of time. It took him too long. Does get a perfect transfer into the tunnel, but it's not going to help him. Dragon looks like he's going to take it. Around the elevated turn. Dragon already coming out into the chicane. Turtles still getting kicked around, just trying to make it up onto that elevated turn. It is Dragon through the final turn and onto the finish line. Dragon moves on and is a qualifier into season two of ROR SRPS. Beautifully done all night. Clips a dumpster there, trying to get back to the uh, pits. Turtles. Unable to make the moves he needed to tonight in order to become a season two qualifier. It's all Dragon here in the finals. If you want to vote for which tour Dragon gets placed on, we got three tours the biggest and baddest tour, the Indie Madness Tour, and the All Star Challenge Tour featuring Team Thunder and Team Mayhem going head to head in the biggest team battle we've ever seen all season long. Then head over to the ROR SRPS Instagram. We'll be hosting votes on Saturday and uh, on Saturdays uh, until all 48 of our main field qualifiers are locked in. And uh, here's another one for the list. Dragon heading back up to starting elevation for his glamour shot for one last look at Dragon before we see him in season two. Beautifully done. Great racing from Dragon tonight. And I know some uh, some Dragon fans out there are happy right now to get to see him all season long. Dragon, we'll see you again soon, buddy. Let's take a look at our wheel spins for our second bracket of the night. Deja Vu 2021 is coming back as well as Pure Adrenaline. He's going to get another shot. Can he get to the finish line is the question. Rizlon Defender, we've been seeing him a lot lately. He's getting another shot as well as Doomsday non-breakable version this time around first response we've seen him before it's been a little while though black panther another shot at the uh, at the win blockhead coming back last time we saw him he fell off the bridge and into the pit of disqualification can he hold it up on the bridge and get through it properly at least 106.7 the fox is back as well and double trouble is returning we saw him last episode Good to see him back once again. We got a, a Built for Tough Blue Thunder Repli Custom. That's what that stands for. Straight up racing pack. We went with Skeletor this time around. Awesome looking truck. Control Freak, but it's a Namp. So that Namp's truck is going to struggle on this track. Extreme Attitude, the first time we're seeing him on this track and on this channel, I believe. We got another Werewolf truck, Taz. That's going to be awesome. And Vorian Prime, a, a total custom. Um really uh, that truck you'll see it in a little bit that truck is awesome if you don't know what i'm talking about it really just kind of embodies the whole custom spirit of uh sim monsters and i love that truck looks awesome runs great control freak is going to kick us off facing off against double trouble blockhead will take on punisher vorian prime is going to take on pure adrenaline 
106.7, the Fox will face off against Rizlone Defender. Skeletor is going to take on Black Panther. That Werewolf Taz is going to face off against Extreme Attitude. Deja Vu versus Blue Thunder. And finishing out round one, we got Doomsday taking on First Response. Now we're jumping right into it here. Control Freak coming out first on your right, taking on Double Trouble. Double Trouble is a solid truck. Very, very uh, capable of being a finalist. It's all about if he can get there. We'll see how he does here. He's the first one to the Jackrabbit, which is no surprise, taking on that Namp's truck. We'll just see if uh, Control Freak can get across the finish line. It's not so much getting across the finish line that uh, they struggle with. It's just they don't have the power to compete with the V4s. And uh, when they do have the acceleration and the power, it's in the turns where they spin out and slip and slide all over the place. Double trouble coming or coming through the slalom and looking for the double roller now. Nicely done. Got a little practice last episode. We'll see if he can put that to use at all tonight. Seems to be, uh, you know, I mean, anything can happen on this track. Every run is different, but, you know, when you have a lot of practice, you should be good at those double rollers. Coming off of the bridge for Double Trouble and onto the bridge for Control Freak. Can Double Trouble get a nice transfer? Oh, Control Freak has a shot. Double Trouble goes for a ride in the tunnel. Now, he didn't touch any of the walls with the chassis, so they do let him refire pretty quickly. Control Freak just now getting out of the tunnel. Double Trouble looks like he's going to take it. I mean, what a way to take a win. Getting back on all four tires and just keeping it running. Double trouble, having a little trouble through that elevated turn. But a control freak, too far to make a difference tonight. Double trouble into the final turn here in round one. He'll be moving on to round two, knocking out control freak here in round one. Beautifully done, great pass. Uh, just a little unfortunate through the tunnel. We'll see if he can control that and uh, get a nice clean transfer next time around. Control Freak coming over the finish line now. Beautifully done. Nice air. Solid pass. Except for that uh, turn in the uh, first floor. Our first turn of the night. Blockhead coming out next. Taking on Punisher. Now Punisher is a pass finalist as well. Blockhead not so much, but he is pretty solid. He's a solid truck. I don't doubt that he could make it up into the finals. At minimum the semifinals. But it's all about if he can get past our, our previous finalist, Punisher. I made the comment that I, I think, you know, Punisher was made for this track back when he used to, you know, come pop up a lot more often. He hasn't been here as frequently lately. But Punisher was, uh, does seem to be made for this track. He is absolutely a killer on it. We'll see if he can actually get to the finish line here in round one or if there's gonna have something catastrophic is gonna happen to this run but he's in the lead right now blockhead gets a perfect landing and they end up neck and neck on starting elevation heading into the bridge it is a tight race punisher a very slight lead here over the cars both of them nice and smooth blockhead keeping it on the bridge this time around but falls just a little bit behind punisher it's kind of in that sweet spot though where if punisher makes a big mistake Blockhead can capitalize on it. Nicely done. Both of them threw the rollers on the bottom floor. Who's going to get a better gap? Probably Punisher. Ooh. Tough hit on the front end for Punisher. Blockhead goes that long to low route, and they end up just about neck and neck once again, but it's Punisher with a lead. Heading into the final turn, I don't think it's going to happen for Blockhead. No. Punisher, a beautiful final turn. Blockhead slinging that rear end just a bit too far out. And uh, it doesn't happen for him this time around. Punisher on to round two. Nicely done. Great pass from the Punisher. Only thing he needs to work on really is his, uh, his double roller and his... Uh, oh, man. His landing on the elevated turn. Man, that was a struggle. Vorian Prime coming out next on your right. You get your first look at that awesome custom truck. 
taking on Pure Adrenaline. We'll see if Pure Adrenaline can get it done. They fixed him up and got him back to 100% here. Up on starting elevation. We'll see how he does in his first pass of our second bracket. Big Sky Wheelie. That is not going to help him here on the first floor. Vorian Prime already up and through the gap. Nicely done from uh, Pure Adrenaline. Just not keeping up with Vorian Prime yet. We'll see how he does through the slalom, if he can make up the time. Vorian Prime killing it through the slalom. Keeping that distance on Pure Adrenaline. Up and through the double roller. Beautiful downside. Pure Adrenaline comes up just a little short. Gets tripped up onto starting elevation. Beautifully done. He might be getting across the finish line. I mean, we got to see his transfer into the tunnel. Uh, Vorian Prime clipping the car, slowing him down, struggling on the bridge. Pure Adrenaline comes back and is, you know, relatively close. He's kind of in that sweet spot now. We'll see how he does into the tunnel. Big bounce, trying to get it under control, goes over. And down he goes in the tunnel. Oh, they're letting him try. He's back on all fours. He's good to go. Pure Adrenaline getting it done in the tunnel, unable to. To, I mean, probably unable to grab a win, but uh, Vorian Prime, too far ahead. Yeah, no, Pure Adrenaline struggling now, but uh, Vorian Prime up and over the triple and headed to the finish line. He's heading into round two. Pure Adrenaline just a bit too tweaked after an awkward bounce. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all you can really say. An awkward bounce into the tunnel is what put him out here in this race. I mean, he was already behind, uh, but he was in that sweet spot. He, anything that would have happened to Vorian Prime, Pure Adrenaline could have made a move. But, uh, you know, awkward bounce sends you into the wall, sends you over. That's a lot of wasted time. Here's an interesting race right here. Two trucks that have been here a lot. Rizlone Defender facing directly off with 106.7 The Fox. Who's going to come out on top? 106.7 The Fox struggles on this track. Rizlone Defender, not so much. Uh, we'll see if he can uh, keep it together tonight or if this will be 106.7 The Fox's first time into round two. Both of them getting beautiful landings. Rizlone Defender getting the, the quintessential, the perfect downside there on that gap. Not too bad from uh, 106.7 The Fox. Not bad at all, really. Just uh, overshot that perfect, perfect downside. Oh, no. Manages to get it saved and control it enough to keep it out of the pit of destruction. But 106.7, the Fox wastes a lot of time and misses that final turn of the slalom. Nice leap up onto starting elevation for 106.7, the Fox. But Rizlone Defender has a massive gap behind him. Taking it nice and easy into the tunnel. Keeping it controlled as we head through the roller on the bottom floor. Nice, nice transfer from 106.7, the Fox. He's just too far behind. Oh, maybe not. Rizlone Defender struggling to get that truck down on all fours. Managing to get it done and keep it running. But 106.7, the Fox is gaining thanks to that mistake. Can Rizlone Defender make it through this final turn? If he rolls it, that's 106.7, the Fox's shot. No, Rizlone Defender gets through that final turn. 106.7 is done in round one once again. He's just unable to get it done on this track. He's been here, what, this is his seventh time on this track? And he hasn't made it out of round one once. So, I mean, this is just not his track. Even when we switch up nodes, I mean, he still struggles to get across the finish line just in different ways. Skeletor coming out next on your right. He's going to be taking on Black Panther. We've seen Black Panther a few times on this track. We haven't seen Skeletor before. This is a debuting truck here for the Spin Master Showdown. We'll see how we do as we head up and over the step up. Little slap wheelie from Skeletor. Ooh, overshoots the... Uh, Jackrabbit there. That's going to make him struggle in the gap. He's going to come up short here. Nice momentum through it. Getting it done quickly. 
but uh, not quickly enough to uh, keep up with Black Panther. Big gap behind Black Panther as of right now. We'll see if he can hold it for the rest of the race and move on to round two or if Skeletor is round two material. Black Panther coming up just shy of a perfect downside on the double roller. Skeletor beautifully done. Skeletor making the effort to get back up towards, uh, you know, into contention for first place. But uh, he's just too far behind to really make a move. Black Panther kind of squirrely coming off of the bridge. We'll see if he can hold up for the rest of the night. Oh, nicely done. Solid transfer, but going into the wall. That might have sealed Skeletor's fate this time around. Black Panther going to go long to low there on the uh, elevated turn into the gap. We'll see how he does uh, coming around the chicane and into the final turn. Skeletor. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> get a save. Get a save. Nice. Yeah, that was a little embarrassing. Come <laughs> Jumping too far on the elevated turn and uh, missing the landing. Black Panther up and over the finish line already. Skeletor just needs to get done here. He is out in round one. We will not be seeing him again for the rest of the night. Black Panther, a little celebration stoppy. As Skeletor just now gets over that triple and to the finish line. Skeletor done. Black Panther on to round two. Taz coming out next on your right. He'll be taking on Extreme Attitude. This is another debuting truck on this channel. We have not seen Extreme Attitude before. We'll see how he does here on the Spin Master Showdown track as we go green. Now Taz is a werewolf node beam truck. We'll see if he can keep it in one piece until he gets across the finish line. A tough hit on the front end already, and he seems to be slowing down. Struggling for speed, which means that front drive shaft might be dislocated already. Thanks to a rough hit off of the, uh, yeah. Yeah, no. No front drive shaft anymore. It's all rear power for Taz. He is struggling to get through this track already. Extreme attitude. Nice lead, and it is only expanding as he heads through this lap. Oh, no. Taz going down into the pit of disqualification. No front power, so he couldn't throw it in reverse and pull it out. He is done. Only a couple trucks have fallen into the pit of disqualification. There was bad news or bad habit, excuse me. There was a blockhead, and now Taz falling into the pit of disqualification. And it is unfortunate, but sometimes that's what happens, man. It's rare, but it happens. Extreme in, extreme attitude. Making it through the rollers on the bottom floor and up and into the gap here. Nice little long, long to low there. Just trying to get done here. Trying to get over that finish line. Keep that truck safe. Coming out of the chicane and to the final turn on the bottom floor. Can he get it done? Nicely done. Beautiful little practice pass here from Extreme Attitude. Over the triple into the finish line. He's on to round two. Great pass from Extreme Insanity. I'm sure he had his issues. I was staring at Taz most of that time. But uh, a, a solid pass in the areas that I saw. Deja Vu coming out next. Taking on Blue Thunder. That built for tough replica custom on your left. We've seen Deja Vu a couple times before now. Blue Thunder, this version of Blue Thunder, no. We've heard, we've seen the name, we've seen a couple different versions, but this is a brand new version debuting on this channel. Up and over the step up, beautifully done from both trucks. And both of them getting nice downsides. Built for a tough Blue Thunder, a little crooked heading into the gap. They do have to, you know, come up short just a little bit thanks to having to adjust, wasting a little bit of uh, uh, run up room there before the gap. Deja Vu, a slight lead on Blue Thunder right now. Can he hold it until the end, or will Blue Thunder make a move here? Beautiful downside on both ends. Blue Thunder making up some ground. He is out a bit wider into the entry of the turn on starting elevation. So he does fall behind, 
but he's not too far behind. He's right in that sweet spot with Deja Vu right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Deja Vu makes that mistake. Bill for Tough Blue Thunder capitalizes on it, and he is heading through the tunnel. Does have his own mistake, but he's still in the lead right now. Not by much, but he's right there. Can he hold it? Or will Deja Vu make a move that'll bring him back? Blue Thunder going for the gap. Deja Vu goes long to low. Who is going to come out of this turn first? It is Blue Thunder with a slight lead on Deja Vu. Can he hold it through the final turn? Nicely done from both trucks. It's close, but not close enough. Blue Thunder has the lead up and over the finish line. And what a way to finish the semifinal race of round one. Blue Thunder knocking out Deja Vu and moves on to round two. Great pass from Blue Thunder, managing to come from behind too. First response coming out next on your left, taking on Doomsday. We've seen both of these trucks before on this track, on this channel, in this qualifying window. Who's gonna come out on top here in round one and potentially get a season two qualifying spot? Doomsday beats first response over the Jackrabbit. Gets a better landing as well. First response struggling here. He's going to come up short in the first gap. A hard hit on the nose. Little nose pick there. Trying to get that truck saved. Oh, gets back on all four BKTs. Nicely done. Great save. <laughs> if this was freestyle, that would have scored him some points. But no, Doomsday heading up and over the double roller already as First response is just now getting to the slalom. Doomsday headed onto the bridge. A solid pass from him so far. Not too many mistakes. Not enough of a mistake to put him <laughs> at risk here at least. We'll see how Doomsday does heading into the tunnel. What kind of transfer he can get. Nicely done. We've seen the Doomsday werewolf truck. Just about as many times as we've seen the Doomsday V4. And this is that Doomsday V4. So, I mean, we'll see how he does here. And if we can finally get a Doomsday into Season 2. I know quite a few people who, uh, particularly those who were requesting it for Season 2, would be happy about it. First response, getting in trouble in the tunnel. Gets a save. But, I mean, what is going on? Pressure should be off at this point. I don't think you're going to come back unless... Doomsday is out, and at that point, you can just chill and get across the finish line. Doomsday over the finish line and on to round two to close out round one. First response trying to get across that finish line, but he's just struggling on this track tonight. The truck is fighting him every step of the way. We'll see how he takes this triple here. Yeah, comes up a little short on the triple. It's just not... No, it's one of those nights. You know, it's not going to happen for first response this time around. We'll see how he does if he gets called back out here once again. But he into the holler he goes for our Wednesday night. Let's take a look at our round two bracket here. Double Trouble is going to face off against Punisher to kick off round two. A very interesting race there. I mean, Punisher, let's continue. Vorian Prime is going to take on Rizlone Defender. In our second race, Black Panther will face off against Extreme Attitude and Blue Thunder will face off against Doomsday to close out our second round here. And uh, we got a couple great races there. And this is one of them. Double Trouble versus Punisher. We're going green here to kick off your first round. Up and over the step up. It's pretty neck and neck. Punisher using that uh, little butt kicker attempt there to kind of force those front wheels down to the ground first. Maybe it could give him an edge, a new strategy from Punisher, but it doesn't do too much for him. He does get a great landing on the gap, though, but that is unrelated to the step-up uh, step up strategy that he used this time around. Double trouble in the lead right now. Punisher coming back, though. It could go either way coming out of the slalom. Who's going to hit the double rollers first? Double Trouble, very slight lead. I would say Double Trouble got a better downside on the double rollers as well. And a nice tight turn around the dumpster. Double Trouble is in 
for it all tonight. He wants to get up into the finals and win and take that season two qualifier spot. Can he do it in our second bracket of the night? Looking for a transfer in the tunnel. Can he pull it off smooth this time? Beautifully done. A little squirrely through the tunnel, but a great landing. Punisher, not the smoothest. Looking for a gap here. Double trouble is going to come up short. Punisher trying to air it out. Gets kicked up onto the nose, but saves it. Double trouble just holding on to a slight lead here as we head through the chicane. Can he hold this lead in the final turn? Great final turn from both trucks. Punisher making up some ground even, but it's not going to happen for him. Double trouble up and over the finish line and headed to the semifinals. Can Double Trouble do it tonight? What a race from Double Trouble. A strong lead early on, managing to come, you know, keep it going the entire race. Here's another interesting one. Rizlon Defender taking on Vorian Prime. Rizlon Defender has a lot of experience on this track. Been here quite a few times now especially when you compare to Vorian Prime, who's debuting here for the first time. Going green and launching off the starting line, it is neck and neck, and this is an even matchup, so I don't know who is gonna come out on top. Rizlone Defender with an early lead here on the first floor. But Vorian Prime already coming back. That's another thing that I was gonna say. Vorian Prime, a great first round race, showed, you know, truck mastery to, to say the least I mean you can not know the track but if you know the truck you know you, you're good so we'll see how he does here as he's continuing through the slalom uh, holding a lead on Rizlone Defender right now overshoots the double roller there not too big of an issue but that can slow you down just a little bit taking too much bounce on the landing or whatever whatever the issue may be it can slow you down if you overshoot the double roller Vorian Prime getting crooked through the bridge once again. Is that going to hurt him? Looking for a transfer. Big bounce from both trucks. Vorian Prime, I would say, comes off worse. Rizlon Defender gaining just slightly. Vorian Prime, what a save! Just before the roller on the bottom floor. Vorian Prime going to come up short. Rizlon Defender has a shot if he can get on the gas and put the power down. It is tight. Vorian Prime managing to come back. Rizlone Defender getting kicked sideways off the side of the launch ramp. It is all Vorian Prime heading to the triple and to the finish line. Vorian Prime on to our semifinals tonight. Rizlone Defender unable to get it done. Just too many little mistakes here on this track. And, uh, you know, they're not even that big. I wouldn't even say that was a bad pass from Rizlo and Defender. Just a really great pass from Vorian Prime. Really quick. Just unable to uh, make up the ground that he needed to pass Vorian Prime. Black Panther coming out next on your right. He'll face off against Extreme Attitude. A very interesting race here. This is another one of those trucks or another one of those races where it's, you know, beginner's luck and uh, truck knowledge versus Black Panther, who is a, you know, experienced truck, has been here multiple times, made it relatively far up the bracket. We'll see how they go here as they're pretty neck and neck, extreme attitude right there with Black Panther right now. He's gonna get a better first turn, extreme attitude really chucking it in there. Black Panther trying to get it done, but it is neck and neck. This is an exciting se uh, second round so far. Two races in, and both of them are extremely close. Three races in, excuse me. All three of them have been pretty, pretty close races. Around that starting elevation term, Extreme Attitude still holding a lead on Black, Black Panther right now. But it's neck and neck off the bridge and into the transfer. Who's going to get a better one? I would say that's about even. Both of them having equal but opposite reactions into the tunnel. 
Ah, oh, man, this is quite a race so far. Black Panther in that sweet spot. If there's a big mistake, Black Panther will come back, but a hard hit slows him down, completely ends all momentum there. He has to get back into the race, whereas Extreme Attitude kept a little bit of momentum on his landing, going long to low. So, I mean, into the final turn, it is all Extreme Attitude coming around and to the triple and to the finish line. Extreme Attitude into the semifinals, knocking out a, you know, relative expert, you know, comparatively between the two. Extreme Attitude, this is his first attempt on this track, and he's into the semifinals, knocking out somebody who's been here multiple times. So it's not always the experience. It can work for you, but it's not always the experience. Built for tough Blue Thunder Replica Custom coming out next on your right. And he'll be facing off against Doomsday. This is going to be an interesting race. We've had a couple requests for Blue Thunders and a good chunk of requests for Doomsday. So we'll see who comes out on top here as we launch over the step up. It is neck and neck to the Jackrabbit. Both of them get great landings there. Bill Ford Tough, Blue Thunder, a little onto the power, gets onto the power a little sooner than Do Doomsday. Can he hold that lead? Ooh, a big slide from Blue Thunder. That is not good. Doomsday gains a lead and uh, is trying to expand it as far as he can before heading up on a starting elevation. Nicely done. Expanding that lead even more. Blue Thunder getting a little tripped up trying to get onto starting elevation. We'll see how they do here as they're onto the bridge. Will Doomsday get into trouble? No. Nice and smooth through the bridge. How is he going to take the transfer? And will Blue Thunder be able to compete is the question. Doomsday a little short. Blue Thunder as well. But it's Blue Thunder nice and smooth through the tunnel. Catching up to Doomsday. Blue Thunder is right in that sweet spot right now. How is it going to go over the gap? Blue Thunder long to low. Doomsday trying to get it on all fours. He does. And he holds a lead still on Blue Thunder. I don't think Blue Thunder is going to get it done. Unless there's a big slip in this final turn, Blue Thunder is too far behind at this point. Yes, with a beautiful drift around the final turn, Doomsday is over the triple and to the finish line. Doomsday grabs that final spot in the semifinals. Blue Thunder not able to get it done this time around. Unfortunate break, but... Somebody has to win, somebody has to lose. Doomsday, on to the semifinals. Speaking of the semifinals, let's take a look at our semifinal bracket and check out our races for, for the semifinals. Double Trouble coming out, taking on Vorian Prime to get us started. Very interesting race. And then we got Extreme Attitude versus Doomsday. I would say this is two awesome races. And I mean, as you work your way up through the brackets, it... it gets more and more so the best and the best of the best right but i mean so far tonight this is absolutely that <laughs> these are the trucks that have uh, really been killing it uh, obviously they won their races but they've been the most consistent too uh keeping their trucks safe double trouble really the only outlier there he took a spill in the first pass but i mean he was able to grab and hold the lead so We'll see how he does here, taking on Vorian Prime. Vorian Prime, an early lead as we head over the gap and into the first turn. They're really neck and neck here. I mean, double trouble right in that sweet spot right now. He's kind of, he's behind. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Manages to capitalize on it. He's not in the lead. Double trouble is not in the lead right now. But he manages to gain some time thanks to Vorian Prime slip. And that's all you need to do. Just gain a little bit, gain a little bit, gain a little bit until you're in the lead and uh, fighting to hold that spot. Double Trouble struggling a little bit on the bridge this time. Vorian Prime getting through clean. Looking for a transfer. Solid landing. Same for Double Trouble though. But Double Trouble is too far behind for that to matter. Looking for a leap across the gap. 
Both trucks going for it. Vorian Prime losing a lot of momentum there. Double Trouble getting kicked up onto the nose. A great save, but he is unable to get up next to Vorian Prime. Vorian heading around that final turn, and he is going to do it. He's on to the finals tonight. That Sim Monsters Custom Vorian Prime is moving on to the final round, knocking out Double Trouble here in the semis. Oh, look at the slap, the slap walk here. Beautifully done. See if he can pull that out in season two if he gets there. But he's going to have to get past one of our next two trucks. And who is going to take that next final round spot? Extreme Attitude versus Doomsday. This is set to be another insane race. Who's going to come out on top? We're going green. Your final race of the semifinals. Both trucks airing it out. Extreme Attitude taking sort of a Sonic Heroes approach there, tapping those front two tires down on the rollover of the step up. Doomsday a little all over the place, manages to save it and get a beautiful landing on the gap here on the first floor. But it's neck and neck through that first turn and into the slalom. Quite a race so far. Exciting moves on both sides of the screen. Doomsday somehow managing to end up right there next to Extreme Attitude even after his mistake in that first straight. Doomsday coming up just a little too short on that double roller. Manages to kick him up on the nose. He has a big gap between him and uh, Extreme Attitude right now. Can Extreme Attitude hold it or will Doomsday be able to come back? I don't know. Heading into the tunnel, Extreme Attitude airing it out. A beautiful transfer. No bounce. Same for Doomsday, though. But Extreme Attitude might just be too far ahead for that to matter. Extreme Attitude going to go long to low. Doomsday going to air it out. But is he going to be able to come back? I don't think so, especially not with a break check like that. But maybe. Extreme Attitude's all over the place, but he's out of the chicane. Doomsday too far behind. Extreme Attitude is headed into this final turn. Will it be clean? It is. It's not going to happen for Doomsday this time around. Extreme Attitude over the triple and to the finish line. He grabs our last spot in the final round. It is Vorian Prime versus Extreme Attitude in the final round. Doomsday unable to keep up with Extreme Attitude this time. Really, it was that entry into the double rollers that really threw him off. Just put him too far behind at that point. Vorian Prime managing to get through three rounds before this one. Same for Extreme Attitude. Both trucks at some point, you know, barely making it through. We'll see who can come out on top in the final round. Two brand new trucks to the channel going head to head. Looking for that season two spot. Who is going to take it? Vorian on your right. Extreme Attitude on your left. And we're going green. Extreme Attitude using that Sonic Heroes approach again. He has an early lead on Vorian Prime. But Vorian Prime is not far behind at all. We're talking a tire tread here. In this first straight. I'm just fanning out at this point. I am watching and trying to see what's going to happen. Extreme Attitude loses it in the slalom. Is that going to throw him off? Will he be able to make it up? Vorian Prime, an early lead in this race. We still have just over half a lap to go. Vorian Prime onto the bridge where he commonly struggles. Managing to get through it nice and smooth. Extreme Attitude seems to be making up a little bit of ground. Looking for a transfer. Big hit for Extreme Attitude. I don't know if it's going to happen for him. Vorian Prime, the first one through the rollers on the bottom floor. Extreme Attitude getting kicked all over the place. Vorian Prime shooting the gap. A rough hit on the nose. Manages to save it. I don't know. Extreme Attitude, I don't think he's going to do it. Vorian already out of the chicane. Extreme Attitude struggling. 
It's not gonna happen. Vorian Prime comes around that final turn first. He's over the triple and headed to the finish line. Extreme Attitude too far behind. Vorian Prime grabs the next season two spot in the ROR SRPS main field. What a race for the final round. It was so close in the beginning. Extreme Attitude had a solid effort at getting back into contention for the lead, but it does not happen. Vorian Prime, your next season two qualifier. If you wanna head over to the ROR SRPS Instagram and vote for what tour he gets placed on between the biggest and baddest tour, the All-Star Challenge Tour and the Indie Madness Tour, head over there this Saturday, head over there now Follow and keep an eye on my story because this Saturday we'll be holding votes and you can place yours. And if you're in the majority, then you help decide what tour he gets placed on. Vori and Prime, one last look at him. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to head over to the Instagram and follow. Subscribe if you enjoyed tonight's episode. Leave a like for me. Leave a comment. And don't forget about that 10% off on W.GG. Thanks again, guys. I will see you tomorrow with another episode of ROR SRPS Season 2 Qualifier.